and so many that's what you call it <laughs> and there's so many things right uh, vikram okay majority men majority men on a panel uh, i'm speaking as a minority here right now for obvious <laughs> reasons but majority of men on a panel is is one thing but a glass ceiling which says a woman can't be the boss is that can be, still but an it's attitude limited. we're talking numbers right and mm -hmm. then if you talk, there's so many so there are so many manifestations of this so for instance the pay gaps there's so many right there's so many ways of looking at this vikram yeah uh, you know, Vikram, I'd, I'd, I'd like to share a, uh, an anecdote. I joined uh, it, a couple of years ago, and uh, I was sitting in a conference room, uh, you know, for a pitch, and there was a big uh, Bollywood producer who walked in, and, uh, you know, he was sitting opposite me, and there was silence for 10 minutes. He just wouldn't speak. So after 10 minutes, I asked him if he was waiting for someone, and he said, your boss. Uh, yeah, and so I said, I'm the boss. <laughs> you can narrate it to me. And after 15, and so he was, of course, completely flummoxed. He kept looking here and there. And then he said, shall we reschedule and I'll come again? So he wasn't OK talking about his story to me. But I'm really glad and thankful to you know, women uh, like Ekta and Richa and Aradhana you know, who've shattered all glass ceilings. They've opened the doors for people like us to get in. And I really keep telling everyone that you know, go in find your place, sit down, and if there's no chair, drag it in and find your place. There is glass ceiling, of course. Yeah. I mean, Ekta sitting here, Ekta, do you remember uh, on one of our seasons of TED Talks, she did a TED Talk for us, and I remember that line so distinctly from her TED Talk. She said, I didn't have a plan B. Yeah. This is what I had to do, and I had to succeed, right? So it's not easy to get here. There are well, no, no one plan B. launching me. I had to launch myself as a producer. You go. Well, thank God you did. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, <laughs> thank God you did. Okay, I'm just going to, you know, I know we are, we are running out of time very, very, very soon, but I just wanted to, let's do some brainstorming about an actual problem, right? So sometimes when it comes, I keep hearing people saying, we've got to change people's mindsets, right? And especially the way people approach women in this country. We've heard it most recently, you know, this, the horrible thing that we just saw in Jharkhand and after that, led to a major debate about the way women are in general treated in India, the way they're stared at you know, on the streets, groped in many places. And people said, attitudes need to change. I just want to know what do all of you feel, because you're also in the, in the business of shaping people's minds. You're influencers to that extent. The programs you do, the content that you create can sometimes change people's mind. Do you think it can be done? Do you think it should be done? Do you think it's unfair to say that women have a special responsibility out here? Do you think women can play a greater role because you know how to get the message across in the right manner? I don't, uh, I don't know if we necessarily know how to get the message across, but I think like intention, intentionality really matters. We can sit in these English panels in five-star hotels, but we have to translate that into something actual. What do all of us take back from this conversation? Why is it beneficial not just to the, the, very often the minute you start talking about gender, there's a perception of someone deeply disgruntled and unhappy. Like, oh, I didn't like, but this is so unfair. It's not always that. It's, all, it's also sort of progress. Some of the countries that are marked highest in terms of happiness in the world have great gender parity. Wouldn't it be nice if we could just all get along and be safe, tra travel when we wanted to, have transport, why do people go to, say, a safe haven like Goa, for instance, where women feel freer in being themselves? Now, now that will immediately get associated with something negative in terms of a cultural context. So I just want to say, if you actually look around, genuinely, everyone will be happier if there was more women in teams. I'll give you an example. This year, I turned producer. We went to shoot a film called Girls Will Be Girls. And that is me and my husband, Ali's first film as producers. And uh, the director was a woman. And she wanted, um, you know, uh, th there was also sexuality in the film. So she wanted uh, an all-female team. Okay, you know, actors are young. Hai, or sadha. Otherwise, what, what happens normally, I can tell you from this side, is like you're pretending to like be really into this guy and trying to kiss him and be in the moment. And then someone is holding a, you know, big thermocall. And they're like, nah, nah, ek minute cut, cut, isko thoda upar karo. Nah, nah, shadow aara, shadow aara. And like, there's no, 
there's no sense you don't feel safe always and uh, in 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 emotional way not necessarily in a physical way we wanted to make an all female crew or a largely female crew or lighting department mein there are no women in india you never hear you say light dada light men there's no women so that was one department like you said slowly the participation of women has been increasing in all departments like producers thanks to people like ekta and so on so <clears throat> we did this uh, we thought how about we do a little training program because there's nothing Beautiful. we'll speak to a grips company and we'll see we can <laughs> we can train people i'm laughing because it uh, sounds crazy but it actually happened it's fantastic we applied for a grant to berlin ale we won two grants instead of one we got some money we put it together we put out a call for and 40 women sent in their applications out of them 10 were selected we went and spoke to this company called light and light which is in goregaon and they said ha ha hum aapko trainer de denge and they spent time uh, teaching girls who storytelling through lighting moody lighting different types of things like how to use new technology how to use an app um and uh, 10 of these women were trained ali also attended the workshop and uh, one of them we hired on our set one of them is working on the sets of mirzapur one of them was working with vishal bhardwaj now this is i'm this saying this is intentional this is this intentional. intentional this is an educational thing we identify ki acha yahan nahi hai so what can we do to bridge this gap first because you see that things are and like of all the women on the stage i'd love for you to hire some of the girls we train because they're ex- excellent and i don't think formal training for lighting exists in this country so these girls will be at an advantage please hire them and use them and this is all free of cost we had girls who were tribal girls from chatisgarh we had we had girls from bombay delhi everywhere girls who couldn't speak english or hindi so that's a great practical example of how you can change behavior and change attitudes you want to coming back to the theme that i was saying we're talking about changing attitudes in general agar aadmiyon ka attitude change karna hai they should not be staring at 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 girls or harassing them in trans- public transport especially in delhi can that be done i mean don't put everything on to only entertainment definitely we are culture shapers i don't shirk from that responsibility take it very seriously but this is everything vikram it's also our bringing it's background it's education it's so many things right that play a role in this and it can definitely be done we are doing our bit yeah ekta changing attitudes yeah but actually my personal belief is the day women see we have started pedestalizing women good girls and bad girls yeah. that's where the real problem is i was on a panel a few years ago and that's when i decided not to do any today it was after a long many years because i had these three women very lovely women discussing how they will never touch anything sexual because suddenly they want to present women in a positive light and i told these girls afterwards i said you all are doing the biggest disservice to women you are creating this belief that if i'm a good girl and i'm only a good girl should i be revered if i achieve something I dr- I fly a plane I study pass my exams if I drink if I enjoy if I wear a short skirt I'm a bad girl suddenly you have a right to judge me so I decided I'll just go on the other side and make all bad girl stories because guess what I am a bad girl I'll wear a short skirt if I had the body of course but i don't care because that's the scary part every girl is trying to fit in the individuality that lets you breathe is being stifled because you're supposed to fit in to be accepted by even us so i want to actually say it's time we stop giving people a pedestal and then later on telling them to live on that and live just there i made a pedestal of the stone thrown at me so i want women to know it's okay to follow the unbeaten path and be where you want to be because you don't have to fit in and therefore i feel there's a real big need now for us to start telling women to just be it's very very important just be you don't have to fit in 
you resonate with that? I I played a mother to someone twice my age in my almost first film. So I totally don't care about fitting in <laughs> because it's it's like very cookie cutter. Yeah. Uh, but we are all part of this problem. We all have certain expectations from each other, from our families. Ghar ki bahu hai, betiya, mummy. I think we are flat out of time. Let me get yeah. a final thought from no, you. No, I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, stories can connect. They can inspire. They can provoke thought. And uh, I feel like, you know, as somebody who's, uh, who has the ability or be, to be an enabler, uh, I take this role very, very uh, responsibly. And uh, the kind of stories that we've put out, you know, we have women who are vulnerable, uh, who are flawed, who are overly ambitious, you know, who are, who don't care anything about what society thinks of them. Uh, they're good girls. They are smart girls. And those shows have worked. Uh, and it's really important uh, that we put out all facets of women. And I feel that the most important thing that we can do is when we give agency to women on screen to do whatever they want not decide what they should be doing. That's really important. But before that, it's important to have women on screen, have them share equal time it, on screen, behind screen, during promotions. That's really important. It's important for people to see women. That's important. I think that's a, that's a fantastic comment to end this on. Who doesn't want to see women? No guy in this room is going to go to an all male film. If there's no sign of a woman, come on, get real, guys. Not please. just be wallflowers, yeah. not look, just be wazes. Look at the number of people who are refusing to leave this particular gathering. I think it's good to just be unapologetically just be. It shouldn't be an apology, whatever you want to be, right? Just be unapologetic. All right, on that note, we have to end this session. Thank you all so much for having joined us. Thank you. Thank you, Vikram, for braving four women. Thank you, Vikram. Thank you. It's, a, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, Vikram. Thank you, audience. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you, ladies. And th guys, can please kindly come in the center of the stage. Uh, Vikram, sir, photo up ke liye aage aage hai. Guys, I must tell you that this is the most uh, engaging session I have attended at Fiki Frames 2024. Everything was remarkable and these women talking about their efforts towards normalcy. Matlab, bohi chahiye zindagi mein, aur kya? Thank you, thank you everybody. Thank you, sir, Vikram sir, for being a great moderator. another day, another conclave, अभी तो और आएंगे because eight March आ रहा है ना पूरे दिन लोग यही बात करेंगे no it's definitely an opportunity to share with your colleagues from the film industry who you otherwise may not have these conversations with unless you know them socially. So, I think that when you talk to them, it's important to talk to them. So, it's important to talk to them. But it won't be anything with talking to them. With talking to them, it's important to talk to them. Sorry. Do you think you have to take action? We have to take action. We have to take action. We have to take action. You have to include this thing in every action. You can't think that my daughter is here. That's why I will do the world better. Or my daughter is here. You know what they say, ghar mein maa behan is, is that's a very direct appeal to your own sense of ki can't you be more empathetic. So I think we all have to inculcate empathy aur wo bhoat zaruri hai, wo dheere dheere kam hota ja raha hai humare society mein. Ma'am, aap ne discussion ke time se emotions of light ko kuch address kiya tha, wo kya hai? Emotions of light? Nain, nain, mein bol rahi thi ki 
फिल्मों में स्टोरी टेलिंग लाइट के थ्रू भी होती है जी जी नहीं मैं बता रही थी कि हमने एक छोटा ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम शुरू किया था उसका नाम था अंडर करेंट उसका दूसरा हिस्सा इस साल होगा और उसमें हम लोगों को लड़कियों को जो गैप पर बनना चाहती हैं हमने उनको ट्रेनिंग दी थी पिछली बार लाइट एंड लाइट के साथ डू आई लुक इट यू और वट लाइक आई थिंक uh, वो जो तराजू है वो पहले ऐसे था और फेमिनिज्म का मतलब है कि वो ऐसा होना चाहिए उसमें सब जेंडर्स को इक्वालिटी होनी चाहिए ताकि सबको इक्वल अपॉर्चुनिटी मिले क्योंकि जब सबको अपॉर्चुनिटी एक जैसी मिलती है और समाज की तरफ से कोई रोक टोक नहीं होती तो तो हमें पता चलता है हमारा पोटेंशियल क्या है वरना किसी भी घर में आप सोचिए एक इंसान अगर कमा रहा है तो आपको पता नहीं कि उस घर में जो मदर हैं या जो औरत है उनकी क्या कैपेबिलिटी है वो क्या कर क्या क्या कर सकती हैं घर में बेटी है तो मतलब उस तरह से बहुत प्रैक्टिकल तरीके से इसको देखना पड़ेगा सी अगेन वी आर टॉक मट स्टोरी टेलिंग सो वी हैव टू टेल डिफरेंट स्टोरीज नाउ वी हैव टू टेल स्टोरीज एर पीपल आर इंडिपेंडेंट बिकॉज इट हैज टू बी इट हैज टू मैच आई मीन अभी बनती है ऐसा नहीं है द बिग बिगर फिल्म विद लाइक मैसिव वट एवर एक्चुअली आई थिंक वेरी गुड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस इज जवान जवान हैड शाहरुख खान ऑफकोर्स बट एंड ही इज़ लवली बट ऑल दीज वीमेन अराउंड हिम बट ऑल स्ट्रॉन्ग दे ऑल हैड देर ओन ट्रैक्स दे ऑल हैड समथिंग टू डू एंड समथिंग टू से एंड अ बैक स्टोरी एंड अ फ्यूचर सो दैट वॉज वेरी लाइक होलसम टू सी दैट एंड दे वर ट्राइंग टू मेक थिंग्स अराउंड दैम बेटर and even the lead in that film nayantara she was a cop she was doing a lot of action so and uh, you know usko kahin pe bhi chhui mui ya us tarah ki purani tarah ki depiction nahi dikhai thi and the film did really well and it was massive uh, and i think that is a that is a um, i look at it as a positive thing in the like commercial spectrum that can shift things <coughs> women no maybe not you maybe not me but certainly some women yeah yeah of course of course sajina ji bahut achhi baat kahi jo ki mere paas pehle kabhi kisi ne kahi nahi hai ki ticket khareedne ke liye bhi chahe aaj bhi kaafi mehngaye aur unke pati jo decide karte hain aur wo us hisab se jaate hain aur maine aise live examples dekhe hain acha jahan i don't know whether they were my own aap par isme shocking baat kya hai ye to sach hai agar वही तो हम बात कर रहे हैं अगर घर में कमाने वाला एक इंसान है तो वो डिसाइड करेगा कि वो कहाँ जा रही है फैमिली क्या कर रही है और पेट्रियाकल सेटअप में हमेशा मर्द घर से बाहर जाके ब्रेड विनर होता है उससे मैं तो ये कहना चाहती हूँ कि उससे आदमियों पे कितना दबाव पड़ता है उनकी कितना मतलब दे द प्रेशर ऑन दैम टू सपोर्ट द फैमिली एंड टू प्रोवाइड वट इट बी नाइस इफ पीपल कैन शेयर द बर्डन Okay. And also, when there is a male dominance, it's higher. No, that's not true. Media didn't. In terms of the back end, the problem is not about that. Our production and maybe like camera stuff and like other technical stuff, but that's also changing. And I don't know if this is true. You just heard Vikram Chandran uh, like state say that all his bosses have been women in the past. So I don't really know if it's true. Even in television, like in terms of acting. Uh, there are many spaces like even models the women are dominating so i don't really think that that is uh, you talking about front screen when i talk about back screen we can just say do you feel that should be more the number of the engagement of the female production there like for example now cricket is taking a turn cricket is taking a turn women cricket league are coming up and everything 
Yeah. yeah. So that was the same thing we need to also mention in the media industry. I mean, I, I, I'm not understanding because these are not the industries that uh, I have deficient representation. Look around you, you know, at the number of women around you. There are other industries that need more uh, females and we should identify them and work there. Like in leadership roles, as CEOs. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys.